Hi oh there, this is our Wilson three phase lathe, an old lathe that uh, has seen a bit of life. The um, uh, bits and pieces uh, that don't work on it and that have been done are um, someone's um, disconnected the clutch at some stage and fitted a new lot of electrical control in here, um, forward and reverse sort of late model stuff um, with an emergency stop and also fitted a new electric motor on the back. Someone's fitted a, a late model ch uh, chuck um, with the reversible jaws, um, you know, as one at some stage. So the faults with it are the clutch is disconnected, it's a direct online. Um, it's reasonably noisy in the headstock. And um, some of the um, uh, um, feed gear ranges don't work. The um, lead screw engagement um, uh, is holding in, I'm um, going that direction, um, but not holding in coming towards me. And um, the tailstock um, taper there needs a re reamer running through it, it's pretty rough in there. So it is an old girl, um, maybe um, uh, it'll suit someone um, you know, that doesn't require it to do a lot of work. But someone has gone and put that electrical gear on it and the new motor, so it should keep it going for a wee while yet. So the carriage is nice to move. Bit of slop there. Cross slides okay, but quite a bit of movement there. And the compound slide moves okay, and quite a bit of movement there as well. Tailstock locks working, and it's turning nicely. Looks as though it's got a um, spinner type and nut there for that lock. Um, bed condition's rough. hasn't got the rear splash guard or coolant system. Let's start it up, so that's reverse there. So you can hear that head stops pretty rumbly. Stop and forward. So that's the feed there I've got running on that lead screw. Oh, so that's um, uh, going that way at the moment, so that's the direction that you need to hold pressure on there. And if I reverse that lead screw direction, that's it coming towards me. So with the feeds there, um, it's working in that far one, not that one. Not that one, not that one. So basically the two extremities and then the range is working through here. Now I'll put that um, onto the feed there and run you through those feeds. So um, I've just gone and engaged the feed to the cross slide that's coming out towards you. I'll stop that and put the feed onto the carriage. So that's coming towards me on that carriage. So those feeds seem to be engaging all right. So that's that. Um, I'll put those feeds in neutral there and run you through some of these gear ranges. So that's 42, um, I'll put you in the slowest one, which will be there. So that's 26. Next one will be 78. I think that's it. Yeah, that's 78. That there should be 125. Now that is 160. And 
and 200. Two fifty four, three seventy five, one more to go, which is four seventy seven. So that's the gear range, um, it goes through the gears okay, um, it's holding a good oil level there, the oil looks clean, um, it is noisy um, but you'll probably find that it's uh, built to last forever in there. And um, it is what it is really but hopefully um, it'll suit somebody um, in some application.